This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Uh, I'm still gonna continue for a little bit more, but I will probably have to end pretty soon. And worst case scenario, maybe we don't finish on Halloween, and we have to do an extra stream after that. It really just depends. I saw a ceiling I was familiar with. Though I was groggy from sleep, I did notice that I was in my futon, like I was every morning. I looked at my clock, and despite having turned in so late last night, I had awoken at precisely the same moment as I always did. <laughs> he doesn't like you! Exactly! I'm so low on sleep, but I guess you really can get up at the same time every day. Are you... The secrets of the human body never cease to amaze me. If I went back to sleep like this, I would definitely not be waking up again. I spurred myself on and slipped out of my futon. Mom asked me about last night at breakfast. Apparently we too had gotten a call asking if we knew where Rika and Satoko were, and Mom vaguely understood that something serious was happening. I warily bit into my toast. I really didn't have any taste. Just then we heard the chime go ding dong. I looked up at the clock and saw it was about five minutes past my regular meeting time with Rena. It was her at the door. Ohayo. Hi Rena. <laughs> Rena seemed pretty sleep deprived as well. There was something missing from her usual spirit. She's wearing her uniform, so yeah. She said that smiling, albeit stiffly. Yeah, let him stay home. It's kind of like a town emergency. Rena was probably worrying her heart out about those two as well. Even so, she wanted to go to school. You're not wrong, but also we need sleep. I was just a little bit happy about Rena mustering that much consideration for me. We went to the place where we'd usually meet up with Mion, but she was nowhere to be found. We were a little bit late today, so we thought she'd be waiting for us. We waited for a bit. Time passed until it got to the point where it was okay for us to go on alone, and we exchanged glances. At that point, my brain, which had finally been woken up by the morning air, recalled the ominous words Uisi-san had left me with last night. The leaders of the three families were disappearing one after the other. And next, it might be the Sonazaki's leader. <sighs> Could Mion have... No, that couldn't be. Rena gave me a pat on her back, of the back. Two of us headed to school by ourselves. On the way, we saw a bunch of our classmates accompanied by their parents. It even looked like some of them were being taken to school by car. Makes sense! Surprisingly, the principal was also standing watch at the school gate. I'd never seen that before. The principal was bowing to our classmates' guardians. The wooden sword leaning next to him was a little ominous. Hi, Principal. Rena and I said nothing. The madness that only existed at night had finally crawled out into the sunlight. 
That's what it felt like. Teacher's still in a good mood. Imagine if Teacher is the mastermind. Man, I don't know how, if I'd be able to process that. The hushed conversations had, that had been spreading for a while now all disappeared like an illusion the moment the teacher walked in the door. Silence dominated the classroom. The principal came in with our teacher as well. This was clearly not a normal morning. The principal cleared his throat and approached the dice. The classroom was dead silent. Everyone was staring at Rika and Satoko's empty seats. The principal briefly and simply declared that Rika and Satoko had gone missing. There wasn't a single person in the classroom who didn't already know. There seemed to be many, however, who couldn't accept it as the truth. It had been confirmed to them now by the principal's words. There were sobs throughout the classroom, and I heard a kid crying. They steadily spread throughout the whole room. The big-hearted principal wasn't able to keep his cool either. Hi. みなさん注目注目。今日から当分の間、登下校は保護者の方と一緒に行います。保護者の方の都合がつきにくい生徒は集団での登下校とします。プリントを作りましたので、よく読み、保護者の方にも必ず見せてください。いいですね。the teacher's voice was a little abrasive. Not even she could conceal the strain she felt from this unprecedented, abnormal situation. They should have just canceled school today. Yes, actually! However, Rena told me that the school was also like a nursery for the students whose parents both worked, so some of them wouldn't want school to be canceled. That's fair, I guess. I'll do it! That feeling of wanting to maintain an everyday atmosphere, even if for only in the school, precisely because our lives had been messed up, was something that I agreed with at this point. Will the cicadas stop beeping? <laughs> but it's called when the cicadas cry. It's the evening cicadas, not the robust cicadas. As for the teacher who had always had her lunch in the staff lounge, she ate in the classroom today. I had to laugh at her curry bento, which was just a rumor until now, but there was nobody to laugh with me. Well, let the lady eat some curry. It's her favorite. Rena brought the chair and lunch over to my seat. Today, it was only the two of us. The fact that we didn't need to drag any desks over was sad. I was sleepy this morning, but my drowsiness had dissipated after coming to school and constantly feeling the incredible tension. Rena's bento box didn't have its usual luster. That was to be expected. Rena was up for a long time last night, too. She wouldn't have had time to make her lunch beforehand, since it's not like she would have gotten up early this morning. I realized the two of us were desperately trying to brighten the afternoon mood to its usual level as much as we could. I looked around the classroom, and it seemed like there were only ones trying to do so, surrounded as we were by gloominess. <laughs> It's like a date. <laughs> Our laughter grew quieter. I was the first one to mess up. Our chopsticks both stopped moving. We couldn't keep it up anymore. Those words might have sounded too miserable. Everyone was thinking it, using roundabout ways to address the topic, but it came, I came right out and said it. I heard Rena catch her breath. Yesterday, Keiichi-kun was not here, so I was talking to Keiichi-kun. 
レナの知ってる限りを話すね。I think Mion has a, a couple other things going on in her life now, to, so she's probably too busy to think about romance. ゆうべはすまなかった。頼む。At that time, since they had arrived for support, Rena was helping the ladies' society cook the miso soup we've had. They reported all the information the villagers had gathered, and Rena said she overheard it. でも、結局何もわからなかったんだろう。学校が終わってから家に帰って。Maybe Shrek knows? Maybe Shrek can get them out of the swamp? Miona told me that yesterday. We had no clues. Yes, the people who are in the house are going to get them out of the swamp. They are going to get them out of the swamp. They are going to get them out of the swamp. They are going to get them out of the swamp. They are going to get them out of the swamp. They are going to get them out of the swamp. They are going to get them out of the swamp. 警察は明るくなってから捜査範囲を沖ノ宮にも広げるって言ってた。In town, it makes sense why we couldn't find them, even though we searched all of Hinamizawa. Then, still, something didn't fit. I had no basis for thinking that, just a gut feeling. I revealed something to Rika that was likely very important to her that day. Then Rika had told me to leave it to her. And then.、Uh, what did she say? Oh, right. If she didn't work hard, then something bad might happen to the dog, too, I think. With all the talk of dogs and cats, I still didn't have the faintest idea what she really meant, but it might have been Rika's way of saying this was a race against time. Damn it! I'd selfishly pushed my anxiety onto Rika and then tried to run away. When I thought about it, I shouldn't have run back then. I should have asked her more about the dogs and cats. The more I think back on it, I really screwed up! Anyway, I don't think Rika was in a situation where she would just go off and play somewhere. Of course, I didn't have any evidence or conviction to base that on. It was just a hunch. I looked back at Rena, startled. I could hear the conviction in those words. Without replying to my gaze, she took her bento box and went into the hallway. She timed that in a way that broke off the conversation. Suddenly, I got the feeling that the next thing she would say would be hard to say aloud in the classroom. I hurriedly grabbed my bento and followed her. Rena didn't go to the kitchenette, but rather to the water fountains out back, where students seldom went. The water flowed down onto our bento boxes. During that time, Rena didn't say a word. Then, after making sure there were no other students around, she finally opened her mouth to speak. Rika chan to Satoko chan ga machi ni asobi ni itte inaku natta nante. Nanda ka funi ochi nakute. Watashi nari ni iroiro kiitari, shirabe tari shita. Detective Rena, what did you uncover? Kiita? The Tomita Tofu Shop? Oh, I remember. That was one of the stores on the road leading to the hospital. Those huge lumps of tofu dancing in the bathtub like cistern always looked nice and refreshing. Oba chan, ne? Kino gakko no kaeri michi ni. サトコちゃんがお店に寄ってお豆腐を買っていったのを覚えてたの豆腐学校の帰り道にだろそれが何か手がかりになるのかいいから聞いてリカちゃんの家に行った時のこと覚えてるかなレナステップアウェイフォンデシンクスにスプレッドアームズワイドとリクリエイトスペースオフリカスルームガス台にお鍋がかけてあってその中にお味噌汁が入ってたの中にはお豆腐が多分一丁の半分くらい入ってたと思う残りの半分は冷蔵庫の中にあったの冷ややっこにするつもりだったんだねお皿に開けてラップがかけてあった As Rena explained, she walked around as if, if she were really going through Rika's room でもレナそれが何だって言うんだケイチ君お味噌汁のお豆腐って本当に最後の最後に入れるんだよ。つまり、お料理してたリカちゃんか
もしくはさとこちゃんはお夕飯の時間の直前まであそこに立って料理をしていたことになるの。デイン、レナ、リオスマート。夕食の時間の直前まで ?Wasn't everyone saying that their bikes weren't around, so they must have gone somewhere to play by themselves? 三角コーナーのゴミを見たらすごくブキッチョだった。食事やお弁当はほとんどリカちゃんが作ってるんだけどたまにねサトコちゃんがすることもあるのだからその晩はサトコちゃんがお料理したんだねそれってつまりサトコに関しては遊びに行かず夕食の準備をしてたってことなのかうんそれで私炊飯釜も見てみたの炊飯釜には2人分のご飯が炊けていたってことは2人分の夕飯は作ったけど2人とも夕飯は食べなかったそういうことかレナナディそれで次に冷蔵庫の中も見てみたの I prefer my tofu to be、uh, lightly sauteed in coconut oil and then scraped in the trash そうしたら残り半分のお豆腐で作った冷ややっこがあったのそれだけじゃないお夕飯用に作ったおかずも何皿かあってそれらにはみんなラップがされていた time, そうラップって食べ残しとかを取っておくためにするものだよね冷蔵庫に入れたということは少なくともその晩のうちには食べないつもりだったということえっとそういうことになるのかケイチ君、もっとよく考えて。お夕飯を全く手つけずでラップしてあったんだよ。どういうことだと思うえっと、じゃあ、夕食を食べる必要がなくなったわけだ。外食とか、出前とかで。それも突然にね。前もって決まっていたら、お料理なんかしない。ふーん。そして、お夕食は二人分用意されていた。つまりさとこちゃんは二人で食事ができると本当に直前までそう思って料理をしていたということなのじゃじゃあ二人で遊びに行っていなくなったというのは間違いじゃないかそうつまりいなくなったのはお夕飯ができて yeah, 夕食に行ったのは本当にたぶん七時ごろくらい、hmm. そんな時間に食事もせずに二人はどこへ行ったのか And it must have been someone they trusted. ケイチ君、覚えてるかな折りたたみ机が置いてあって、その上にお醤油や箸立てなんかが置いてあったの。醤油や箸立てなんかが置いてあったの。There might have been something like that. I didn't remember. お醤油の小瓶ね、空っぽだったの。もう一滴も入ってなかった。これじゃ冷ややっこは美味しくないよね。だから私、流しの下にある醤油の大瓶を探してみたの。よくそんなところにあるって知ってるな。<笑>私もリカちゃんの家に行ってお料理したことあったから。Rena cleared her throat, her face returning to a serious expression. でね、流しの下を開けてみたら、醤油の大瓶が瓶ごとなかったの。This is a song I haven't heard before. Show you know, all being a night to do you mean in Arunda. Coco Karasaki was in the Lena no sozo da carane. This sounds like an earthbound song. Da Karasai go made. Could you have some as a Niki Tene? Last night, Satoko was making dinner like normal. Rika usually watched TV until the food was ready, so she was probably lying down watching a variety show or something. <laughs> I'm not good enough at Photoshop to do that one. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll see what I can do. Satoko put the tofu in the miso soup, and right when dinner was about to be ready, she noticed that they were out of soy sauce. So Rika, who had nothing to do, brought a big bottle of soy sauce to a neighbor's house to borrow theirs. <laughs> よくわからないんだが、醤油なんかって分けてもらえるのかな。Oh yeah, small town, absolutely. うん、一
Especially since it's two ten-year-olds with no parents living on their own. I'm pretty sure, and and it's literally like, it's Rika. I'll do anything for Rika. <laughs> that that's how the mentality is gonna be. So Rika rode her bike out to get some soy sauce. No matter how long Satoko waited, though, Rika didn't come back. So then Satoko called up the house where Rika was going. Would Rika happen to be imposing on you? Something like that. Then the other person must have replied with something like this. <sighs> Satoko called Rika a few times and a few names in private and wrapped up the dinner she had made for them. She put it in the fridge so she could use it for breakfast and lunch the next day. Then Satoko got on her bike too and headed for the house where Rika was. A veteran housewife would never normally make so much food that she could feed two extra people. Rena flatly denied me. Maybe Satoko's an awful cook. Okay. Okay. Never mind. This was only circumstantial evidence in Rena's guesswork. Even so, it was all extremely convincing. I it would be in character for Satoko to say that. It was the only ray of hope we had to topple the situation bereft of clues. This was the heart of it. It would have to be somewhere she'd be comfortable with asking for soy sauce, and somewhere Satoko wouldn't think it suspicious that she'd been invited for dinner. So who was it? Rena slowly shook her head. Maybe it was Shion. Or Mion。あくまでも想像だからね。警察の人とかには何も見せておいてね。隠すことはないんじゃないか。仮に半分しか会ってないとしても、きっとヒントにはなると思うぞ。ケイチ君、これって日南沢の人を疑うって意味だよ
By itself, Rika being sacrificed after I told her everything was mortifying. But Satoko, who was sacrificed for no reason, wasn't that all the more regrettable? Everything was my fault! Who would be the next to disappear? Would it be Shion and me next time? Why? Why weren't the culprits going for Shion and me right away, though? If they had enough power to erase the mayor and Rika, then why not just get rid of Shion and me? If they went for us, well, I wouldn't like it, but I could still tolerate it. What I couldn't forgive was them getting rid of those we confessed to. Now that I think of it, yesterday, Shion said something alarming. She felt like someone was watching her. It could be, it, it could be Yakuza, Uncle. It could be any of the Yakuza people. So then, was someone watching me as well? Strangely, though, I hadn't felt anything like that until now. Even though I'm the root cause of everything, I had never once had that impression. And he had that last time, so something's very different compared to Chapter 1. Maybe that was simply because Shion was more cautious than me, and I was just careless. That's another story, though. Let's get back on track. Why weren't the culprits going after Shion and me? I felt like that's where the key to this lay. Could it be... Was I making a big assumption that I shouldn't have been? I thought and thought, but still couldn't come up with an answer. The one thing I understood was that I was a concerned party to this case, and that I had a duty to watch over it until everything got resolved. Time for class! I heard the ring of the bell declaring the end of lunch break. Would somebody else disappear tonight? If nobody else did, then I wanted them to get rid of me tonight for sure. And then put an end to all of this. Shion's hysterical voice on the phone last night came back to mind. They planned to murder those close to us first, make us as miserable as possible, and only then would they kill us. Oh, thanks, Principal. As the at the principal's urging, I returned to the classroom, which was quiet as the streets at night. There were a lot of parents picking up their children after school. It was just like a kindergarten. The students whose parents didn't come went home as a group. We left school with everyone else, followed the assigned route. Even while leaving, nobody said anything funny. They all looked like exhausted mountaineers, silently marching through the mountains. As we went, one left, then another, and in the end it was just Rena and me. I was supposed to escort Rena all the way up to her house, but she declined. I have a hatchet! <laughs> レナを送った後、一人で帰る圭一君だって同じくらい不用心だよ。まだ明るいんだもの。大丈夫。嘘か。じゃあ気をつけてな。うん。あれ、あれ警察の人じゃないか。Oh no, it's my new best friend. Rena pointed towards my house. There was a car stopped in front of it. From out of the car came Uisi-san. He must have been waiting for my return to ambush me. Uisi-san started walking over wearing that annoying grin. <laughs> Why are the coppers at your house, Nakichi? <laughs> are you breaking bad? Not, not yet, no. Ren is a good person. Even when I made a fuss over Rika's disappearance, she never asked me why I did. She could have been suspecting me ever since then, and that would have been okay. Even so, she still hadn't asked me anything. She didn't try to pressure me into revealing the truth. <sighs> Rena simply listened, smiling like she always did. Even though I had insinuated I was related to the incident, she didn't look at me as though I were looking at something dirty. She was. Rena gave me a slight bow and trotted away, leaving me alone with Uisi san who walked over. Oh, I wonder why. He came all the way to my house? I can only thank my good fortune that my parents were absent. 
Since neither of them was around at this hour, they would probably be back late. That's convenient. Now I can question you. <laughs> or you could stop hanging around my house. Uisi san pushed my back, prompting me to walk. It seemed like he wanted me to get in the car. We're going to Hooters. <laughs> I wasn't the culprit, but I was the cause of everything. It wouldn't be weird if he wanted to investigate me. That kind of gave me a resigned feeling. He opened the back door and urged me inside. If I got in, he, I wouldn't have a very easy time getting out. If I said no, however, then this man might really handcuff me and take me away. I couldn't refuse. I could only accept in good grace. Okay, best friend, what are we what are we talking about today? The inside of the car had been cooled too much by the air conditioner, and there was a rusty smell coming from the filter, which must have been cleaned only very rarely. He turned off the engine, and it suddenly became quiet, and the voices of the Higarashi, with all their cool loneliness, snuck inside. He's a copper, it's okay. It sounded <laughs> like a chorus of voices, lamenting my exorbitant punishment for having harbored such foolish curiosity. For a few moments, while listening to these voices, I myself lamented the days that had been twisted and distorted since that night. Uisi-san, as if waiting for me to voluntarily begin talking, lit a cigarette and listened to the Higurashi. The silence became deafening, and I was the one who folded first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll let you in on a little dirt. <laughs> no, let's just get to the important stuff we don't know yet. The freak deaths of Tomotake and Takano-san on the night of the Watanagashi. So that's pretty much exactly the same as the first time. Okay, that guy, I hate to say this, because he is best boy, but I think Tomotake-san might have been Breaking Bad himself, and he took the wrong drug. Yep, I would imagine. Hopefully she died via strangulation before she was doused in the gasoline and then went on fire. Why is that a different police department? <laughs> Hmm. That's weird. So the police didn't know anything other than the fact that the victims died inexplicably. It's so weird because Tomotake is like completely normal and then like immediately afterwards claws out his throat. That's kind of crazy. ほぼ同じ時刻に殺害され岐阜の山中に遺棄されたと考えるのが妥当でしょうな。どうして Having exhausted that topic, I changed the subject. Otherwise, he might turn the conversation on me. I searched 
The mayor, Kichiro Kimiyoshi. Apparently, he was suffering from severe hemorrhoids. Oof, that's not good. You are a man of the world. You are a man of the world. So, the son of the son. The son of 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 the son. Mm, that's a decent. Yeah, maybe DX, maybe. That's certainly an idea. Hmm. Even I knew that big hospitals, like university hospitals, had a really long waiting time. Apparently, people would get in line for hours beforehand, even if they had an appointment. There was nothing suspicious at all about that. その日は夕方から神社の集会場で会合の予定があったんです。それで余裕を持ってお帰りになるはずだったんですが、途中電車で人身事故がありましてね。どうもそれで足止めを送ってしまったらしく。Oh, this is before the meeting started. Oh, 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 this is before the meeting started. So then, on his way home, the old man who had treated Shion like his own daughter, he was a dependable person who would encourage Shion whenever she felt pressured by anxiety, and yet, Shion's painful voice struck me right in the heart. What? I was taken aback by how strange my own voice sounded. What was it that just surprised me? I squeezed my head with my hands to try and drag back what I had only just realized for a split second. Remember, Keiji Maibara, you just realized something. Something important. The night of Watanagashi. That was when everything started. That night, Takano and Tomatake died. The next morning, word of the incident had spread throughout Hinamizawa. They planned to talk about it during the evening meeting. The mayor, however, had an appointment at the hospital, and as planned, he went there without telling his family. He got a checkup at the hospital. That was the same place we went in Chapter 1. Ate something. Of course he went to Hooters. And then there was an unexpected delay on his train ride back. When he returned, the meeting was already about to start. The mayor changed clothes, got on his bicycle, and hurried to the assembly hall at the shrine as fast as he could. From the, when he heard about the incident on the night of Watanagashi until he showed up at the assembly hall, everything he was doing that day was done in secret. During that time, nobody found out that... He went to the hospital alone. He ate alone. And he got on the train alone. That all meant he had absolutely no contact with anyone else. You couldn't have even called him on the phone. Okay, but what does that mean, Keiji Maibara? Why does that matter, Keiji Maibara? Ah! He didn't talk to anyone other than Keiji. after Shion. I told him everything. I told old man Kimiyoshi everything. Oh, wait! I thought she, I thought she said that on the night of the festival. If she said that on the uh, night after, then that means she lying. <gasps> Ooh, Shion. 
Is she the mastermind? She's a great actress, then. Because I thought she talked to the mayor on the night of the festival, not the night after. Shoot, if I'd picked that up, I probably would... Actually, no, they only revealed that. Never mind. Sweat burst out of my body like bullets. They became one lone strand and slid down. Down from my forehead to my nose and fell. So then... What does it mean? Hikichi Marbara, no more playing dumb. When did she tell him? Shion said that she learned of the incident from a phone call her father had made that morning. The mayor had left the house first thing in the morning for his appointment at the hospital. He didn't tell anybody where he was going. Maybe he went to Hooters for lunch and she was his waitress. Nobody knew about him going to the university hospital. Furthermore, his train ride home back to his house was delayed by an accident. As soon as he got home, he rushed out to the assembly hall. Then the meeting at the assembly hall began and continued until it was dark out. Then everyone left. Nobody saw him after the meeting was over. He just disappeared. She owned why you lying? Which meant, which meant, which meant, um. Maibara-san, daijoubu desu ka? Yappari yatsui nara kura iremasu yo. Another part of me was messing with my thoughts, demanding that I didn't think any further on that than that. My head was pounding violently, and the fluids packed all inside it all blended together until nothing made sense. It was just about to settle, yet it had been smashed and melted in the blink of an eye, no longer able to retain its shape. Maebara-san? Moshi-moshi? I... Uishi-san lit yet another cigarette. AGAIN?! <laughs> there was yet another cigarette butt placed in the ashtray. Was it displaying the passage of time? Had I... Had my thoughts been frozen over for that long? Watashi. Okay, we gotta drive to my girlfriend's house. <laughs> my mind had become a gigantic oozing mess. My brain felt like it had been totally minced by the blades of a blender, and I couldn't think. Uisi-san gave his best attempt at an adult smile. あの晩、あなたたち4人が最後で西野美込んだことは知っています。次の日にはもう村の知る人は誰でも知る噂になってましたからね。それ自体は不法侵入として問われるべきことですが、問題はそれじゃない。That's true. If she owns the mastermind, she she actually might be able to take down Mion. Oh man! Wait a second. I suspected that Mion, the Mion who we met the night Rika and Satoko disappeared was actually Shion. What if Shion has taken out Mion, like, killed her, and replaced her, and is, like, pretending to be her now? <gasps> that would be epic and really dark. <laughs> as soon as I said it, I regretted confirming my presence there, but I knew it didn't matter anymore. <laughs> I was far too tired of keeping quiet about this. Perhaps that was Uzi-san's goal all alone, but again, that didn't matter anymore. Shhh! <laughs> <laughs> it is, but I would totally see this pulling that plot twist, and it would be pretty epic, let's be real. But that wouldn't explain chapter one at all. Unless it's a completely different area. Or, 
ソ連か中国あたりの拳銃が山ほど積まれていた不審な木箱やコンテナが山積みされてませんでしたか<笑>それはどうしてもいいですよね。今回、ティーシャツとかクレープが入ってるのは。That should have been what happened. あの西宮殿に何か秘密があるんじゃないかと思って捜査令状を請求したんですがねもう空前絶後の妨害工作がありまして信仰の対象に対する侮辱であり憲法で定めた信仰の対象に対する侮辱でありいやもうだから実際に入ったあなたに聞くほかはなかったんですよ本当に古い錆びて埃をかぶった拷問道具しかなかったです他に目立つものなんて何もなかったですふんでは富武さんたちが殺されたのは金器を破ったからという制裁だけなんですかね I didn't have an answer for the only part. もういちいち隠しませんけどねあなただけが今日まで被害を免れてるんですあなた以外は全員が消えたのにシオンズ・ディスピアなんです。あなたが無事で、あなた以外が被害に遭う。どんな違いがあったのか、so、それが知りたいんです。Oh, I bet, I bet she did. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. She replaced me on. There was something wrong with what Uisi san was saying. You alone? You alone? What? ちょ,ちょっと待ってください。あなただけがってどういう意味ですか<笑>ですからあなただけが最後の生き残りなんじゃないですか西宮殿に忍び込んだコソドロ4人組の The only one left alive? Hold on. She only still... あの晩に富武二郎さんと高野美代さんが死に翌日園崎シオンさんが死にあだけが無事に今日までを過ごしてるんですなぜあなただけなのか私はそれが知りたいと言っているんです。何が起こるのシオンが失踪したってそんなバカな私は本当に失踪した。But I didn't care about that. Tomotake died. Takano died. And Shion disappeared? When did she disappear? What is this guy talking about? You saw me with her at the freaking library. Back for a bit? Wait, stop saying stuff! I don't understand! So, Zaki Shion san wa, some hino kibun de shindui no ye o tomari aru itari shimasu no de. Shozai fumei ga atari mai nan desu yo. Gakkou mo kibun hitotu de yoku yasumimasu shi ne. Sensei mo komari hata de mashita. So, na koda kite nai! Shion wa, itsu shitsu shita ka te kite nu da! Desu kara, watanagashi no tsugi no hi desu. The fluids in my body all reversed direction. I lost my sense of balance, and everything I could see started to wrap, to warp, and twist out of shape. I simply couldn't endure it. Hang on. Hang on. Shion had already disappeared? Then, then. That night, that call, that phone call. Who was that? She called me every night. She encouraged me. We vowed that we would do our best to live on and not be erased. Yes, that should have been a phone call of Shion. Should have been a phone call with Shion. Should have been a phone call with Shion. I don't, I don't know if Mion or Shion is the mastermind here, but... I think it's Shion. Okay, no, no, no. Think of this through. 
Shion was definitely hearing weird noises that no one else could hear on with Tanagashi. We know that was Shion because we left Mion behind, and then Mion, literally right after Shion left, confronted us, and they were different clothes. There's no way they could have swapped then. So that was Shion. So Shion, I think, is going crazy and is like... Oh. I think I think Shion is the one who's crazy, not Mion. I felt a stabbing pain like needles were being pushed into every pore of my body. It started on my back and began spreading throughout the rest of me. When it had completely surf covered the surface of my skin, it began to worm its way inside my stomach as well. That day, Uisi-san had only caught me, and she unbounded away, lying that she needed to go to work. Didn't she call me that night? Angel Right after Shion ran away without me. It is simple. If we really want to prove, just take Mion's fingerprints, compare them to the birth certificate. You'll see. Nara. もう it can't be. It can't be. It can't be. Shion had already disappeared. That, that couldn't be. It couldn't be. I talked to her the day before yesterday. I talked to her last night. She was going to call me again today. That was Shion on the phone. Shion on the phone. It was from Shion. From Shion. Shion-san wa tokku ni shissou shite rin desu. Tsugi wa anata nan desu yo. Then, who was on the phone those past nights? Who was on the phone those past nights? Who was on the phone those past nights? Well, what a mind screw. That's, uh, oh, wow. Okay, then. Wow. 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 That was crazy.